Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with a Vox Box review, and today I'm reviewing the Joa Beauty Vox Box from Influencer. Now, if you guys don't know how Influencer works, I'm gonna take the time to card the playlist of my Vox Boxes I've received in the past. So basically, what happens is that Influencer will send you free complimentary, that's redundant, products so that you can test it out, give your honest review, and then that way it's more like a first-hand experience because we all see these beauty gurus on YouTube and on Instagram and everywhere, and sometimes you can't get a real justification. Normally when I receive a Vox box, I usually test the product first and then I kind of come in and just tell you how the product was but today I'm gonna do something a little bit different and we're gonna be doing a get ready with me it's actually about 7 20 on the morning I need to get ready for work and I figured what better way than to test out a couple new fun products and get caught up I mean it's been a minute I think it's been like almost over a year since I posted a get ready with me and um yeah, that way you guys can kind of see the products firsthand. Now, to clarify, I have used the products before, but I really only used them on a first-time impression, so I kind of want to see if repeated use does make a difference. So if you guys want to see what was inside this box box, then keep on watching. The box itself, which is very pretty, and now Joa is a, um, it's a drugstore brand, but it's a Korean drugstore brand. You open this stuff up, and inside is the little information card that says, get out of here. Joa is Korean for I like it, we believe in celebrating life, fearlessly flaunting your femininity, and being unapologetically girly. So that really kind of explains the whole storyline of what this company is, which I really like. I think it's a very fun feminine product, and it just basically talks about you know that it is k-beauty so we have here the glow activation radiance primer we have the what a mate what a mat uh, matte liquid lipstick we have the truly ears national finish foundation drops and then we also have the be my everything blush and bronze palette so basically this is an all-in-one box so you can really get a feel for the lineup that this company offers and all these products are sold exclusively at CVS so very affordable they often overlook drugstore quality makeup at least I know I do and it's not within any good reason because there are a ton of really great products in drugstores that are affordable so it's not to say that you need to spend millions of dollars at Sephora you can literally hit up a CVS and get the same results. This has 24 karat flakes inside here it primes and moisturizes and provides an even finish. Um, when I use this stuff I noticed that it doesn't have a smell too terribly much and when I put it on it's kind of a weird consistency it's kind of like a gel and it kind of works like a gel but in the same sense it does give a like silky finish i want to go ahead and jump in next with the joa truly yours national finish foundation drop now i received shade natural ivory which is a little too light for me um when i tested it i did have a spray tan like the remnants of a spray tan and it just didn't really look like a full finish so I will have to go in with a bronzer which luckily we have. What I really like about this brand is that for it being drugstore it does feel a little bougie which is pretty surprising I guess you could say and this is the dropper. The one thing I don't like about the formula though is that it is very runny so just be like a little careful when you're um, putting it on your face and bouncing it. We need to talk because it has been a solid minute since I feel like I've sat down and like talked about life in general. Um, just so much crazy stuff. Now, I want to apologize for how November, December went. <laughs> I made some hint at this in my December workout split and the lack thereof that I had been going through a lot of stuff just like it all seemed to happen at once where and that's how things are in my life it's never you know like I'm constantly busy or I'm constantly doing things it's always like you know we'll have extended long lull periods and then boom we're just doing everything all at once and again I didn't want to really have to talk about this because like it's weird to talk about um so everybody knows that I am in a long distance relationship and I'm not gonna like air my dirty laundry or air my grievances because Situations have been 
sort of rectified since then and um November I was just really kind of like in a mood where I just felt like you know no matter what I did it was like I just like I couldn't be happy and to me that was like weird because I've been in a really it's not like to say um I hadn't been in a long distance relationship like long like we <laughs> it's gonna be four years in January and you know we both are the kind of people that get very I don't want to say self-absorbed because that makes us sound bad but we both get very involved in our own lives and sometimes we forget to take the time to check in on the other person I am extremely guilty of doing this um with anybody boyfriend best friends like I'm a very inclusive person where I don't go out of my way to check up on you it makes me sound like a bad friend but the truth is is that like I have so many things that I have to do I am somebody who's very independent I'm not gonna sit there and make plans with somebody and if I want to go do it I'm just gonna go do it I kind of admitted that like we just not that we weren't like unhappy but like we both had been so enclosed in our own environments that we just kind of forgot to check up on each other and also like again I don't want to air all total grievances because that's not fair to Ryan or myself and quite frankly I don't think the internet needs to know these problems but the whole month of just like the whole month of November was just kind of like really irritating because I knew something was wrong I didn't know how to express something was wrong and I just tried to overlook it because I knew problems were going to be rectified because of the trip to Iceland. Going in next with the Be My Everything brush and bronze palette. So this is an all-in-one, which I do really like. The bronze colors don't make me look muddy, which is very important. So the very end of November, I basically did like one of the most adult-like things that a person can do, and I bought a new car. My first car that I had that was like mine, my own, like my car, um, was a 2007 Audi A6. I bought her used and she was the best car ever. Tire sensor, pressure, doodad had been going off and we had taken it into my mom's work now. She works for a car dealership and they said that, you know, oh, well, we can fix your, like the little like stub, like the sensor, I guess was broken on it. And they're like, oh, well, we can order it for you. It's going to cost like $120 or something like that. So we were like, okay, we'll bring it in. I had the part ordered. It was supposed to go in on Tuesday, that Monday night before the car was supposed to go in to get the tire sensor pressure knob fixed. Uh, my defrosters weren't working. Like the heat in my car was not working, which would be fine if it were the middle of July, but November in central New York and there's a foot of snow on the ground, you see the problem. <laughs> now we have this new issue. What do we do? So... They take the car in and they say to my mother that we have a situation. Basically, I guess with the car, um, there was, it was the, the heater blower was broken on it and that would have cost $400 to fix, but they weren't sure if that was actually what the problem was. And if like the, the blower motor didn't work, then they were going to have to buy another part and another fix problem for $600. So now instead of what turned out to be a $100 problem turned into almost an $1,100 problem. We all had kind of agreed. And when I say we all, I mean my mom, my dad, and myself, um, that if it was going to cost over 500, we weren't going to fix it. Like, we would, you know, we would go to a plant B, but we thought that it was just gonna be like, oh, it's just like a, a bolt is loose or something. We didn't really see that there was gonna be too big of a problem. My mom works for a dealership. She works for Volkswagen. And so that's why we were able to bring my Audi into the Volkswagen dealership because they're sister companies. So we, the night before, like we were talking before we even brought the car in, we were like, oh, ha ha, how funny, or how much would it be to get me in a new car? Like, this was never to cross my mind. To run all options, we need to, you know, be prepared so in case the worst happens, it happens. I've always learned that. Like, expect the worst, hope for the best. And so my mom had called, or my mom had texted me at 4 o'clock that Wednesday. Wait, 
Yeah. So, like, all of this happened, like, on Wednesday night. It was either going to cost 400 or or 1000 and that's a big range of numbers. So, she was like, well, come down and pick me up because your car's staying in the shop overnight because you can't drive home in it because your defrosters don't work. So, I pick her up. I go inside the sales room. I'm talking to her boss, who's the general manager of the location, and he's, like, running off all these numbers as if he's, like, already basically... <laughs> sold me the car roll in the negative equity from the old car into the new car payments and then this way it's only gonna cost you this much a month but it happened so quick <laughs> where I had zero time to process what the hell just happened so they basically were like saying all these numbers saying all these things and then he looks at me and he was like well go pick out a car like I'll pick out what color you want and I was like can we talk about this for a second like we're talking about my car which is like my baby if anybody knew me and everybody knew me, knew that my car, Audrey, was my baby. You got a color that you like and we'll reserve it because, you know, we know obviously your mom works for us. Like, you're not going to chip us. So, um, you know, just go pick it out so then that way nobody else can sell it either tonight or tomorrow. I go out and I look at the 2019 Jetta S, the bottom of the barrel, like the most basic like version of the Jetta you can get. I go home, I have the conversation with my parents about like what I should do. And this was my ultimatum, was that I had bought the Audi and I didn't want to spend a thousand dollars to fix the car because before any of the conversations started, managers at the Volkswagen dealership had already appraised my car and they said that it was worth like two thousand dollars and the more time that we waited the more it was going to depreciate as with every car while all of this is going on you guys also need to remember i was leaving for iceland literally the next day so like wednesday night i go home i sleep on it i think about it and i'm like you know what it's probably for the best let's just go ahead and do it which when you own an audi it's already quadrupled the price and now with a jetta it's everything's under warranty. I woke up the next morning and I went to the dealership with my mom because I had to drop her off and who I said let's go ahead and do it. So we go through the whole paperwork everything gets done like a lot later than I wanted it to be because I had to be at work but I took part of the morning off to kind of do like some house cleaning if you will. And it's like oh my god like you got a new car you got a new car and I'm like yeah I know but I'm not even excited about that I'm excited about the fact I'm going to Iceland tomorrow and it literally was such a whirlwind because I literally I didn't even have the car for 24 hours before I left the freaking country. We then go to Iceland and we have a great trip as you guys could obviously tell from my travel with knees and if you haven't watched them go ahead and do so what i'm gonna do now is because i still want to just play with this these products a little bit more i'm gonna actually use this um palette to do an eye look it's gonna be something very subtle because i'm not trying to mess with a lot of color today I, what were we talking about iceland so iceland was definitely good for ryan and myself we really needed it we just like i said it's just i am it's one of my toxic traits myself I guess I could say somebody who like like I said if you're not like there I'm probably not gonna like not that I'm not gonna check in on you because like that makes me sound like I don't care about you I do it's just I'm really busy <laughs> and I'm somebody that it does not matter what time of day it is if you need me like if you need just somebody to talk to or if you just you know you're going through some stuff and you just need somebody to bounce an idea off of or just somebody to catch up with I'm your person like I won't bombard you with my love and affection but I will be there for you I'm very much like a cat <laughs> Iceland was so magical I can't even begin to describe it like the photos I took don't even do it justice I still can't believe that's a real place in this world which is crazy that you know that exist like that's a real thing that's a place my travel vlogs have definitely since gotten better since we've taken the time to invest in our quality and our equipment and stuff but I still don't understand how um how I was even able to capture how magnificent it was another trip to look forward to and this one I'm really excited about um is we're going to Prague and Budapest in February and I I'm like now that one trip's done I'm like looking forward to the next one which is great but um between the two is um this little thing called Christmas and I am not even remotely close to being ready for Christmas uh luckily I have 
not a lot of people to buy for but and those people that I am buying for um, some of them I don't have to buy before Christmas I love going away and I love traveling but man let me tell you it is exhausting I gotta unpack my I gotta do this but I gotta Christmas shop and I gotta do this and then I get knocked out with like a week worth of sickness and it was just definitely like what the heck I couldn't catch a break and then on Friday of last week I fell down my back stairs and sprained my ankle and have a gnarly bruise the shape of Virginia on my butt cheek and then the next day I had my mom's Christmas party for her company's work which it has been such a whirlwind since like the last time I really sat down and talked to you guys. Like I'm constantly doing this, I'm doing this, I'm going here, doing this, doing that. But and like, I feel like that that's what the holidays are. It's supposed to be bustle, it's supposed to be busy, it's supposed to be fun. And I don't know if it's fun anymore. I don't know if it's just like I'm not preparing myself because I feel like when the holidays roll around, everything else gets put on the back burner and I mean everything like my fitness and like my diet and my health and mental health and all of that stuff and I really need to just start getting back I need to start getting back into a routine of like taking the time for myself and not being selfish with my own time but also totally being selfish with my own time uh, how are you guys doing <laughs> uh leave me a comment to tell me if this year like Christmas just doesn't seem like not that it doesn't seem like a big to-do, it is, obviously, but like I feel like people just aren't that excited for Christmas this year. Am I wrong in this? Because I just feel that like everybody I've talked to, like not a single person is like, I'm ready for Christmas. Like everyone's like, oh my god, I have X, Y, and Z to do before Christmas can even happen and I'm just kind of like, oh shoot, I don't want to be that person because you know, like, I am somebody who very much prides himself in being on top of my shiz all the time, and I feel like that I'm so overwhelmed, but in the same sense, I'm like, I got it. It's weird. It's a weird time we're living in. The only other product inside this Fox box that we got was this What A Matte Liquid Lipstick, and mine was in the shade Dragon Punch, and I want to talk about this lipstick for just a minuto because... As I mentioned, I have used all these products previously after a one-time use, and I use this, and I'm conflicted. This lipstick is a very pretty shade. It's gorgeous on. However, it, like, coagulates, and, like, my lips are stupid chap. No matter how much chapstick I put on, they just, like, they're peeling, they're flaky, they're, they're just gross. I don't know if, like, it coagulated because of the chapness of my lips, or if it's just the formula. It's that I loved the shade of this. I received a ton of compliments on it but for me the formula was a dud it coagulated it was just really thick and goopy and not forgiving could be circumstances with having super chap lips it could just be that I had chapstick on when I put it on I just I'm not sure and I don't want to wear this lipstick today just because it's a little heavy-handed for what the look I did and if I don't love it I'm not gonna wear it it's a lipstick that came with the box box but if you guys remember in my Gen Beauty swag bag that we got we did receive a um, matte gel lipstick from Joa and it's the I'm your jelly bay and mine was in the shade color babe and it's a pretty natural color so we'll go ahead and wear this to dry and very quick um very feathery very light I do like the shade color it is a little bit more of a pinkier tone and yeah that's basically everything um inside this box box uh let's go ahead and do some final thoughts it's great quality i really like the foundation drops because the finish is super natural um i noticed yesterday too when i wore it by like 8 a.m it looked flawless by 10 a.m it still looked good and then even by like four o'clock at night it still looked good nine hours after application i really liked the blush bronzer palette because it's an all-in-one it's super cheap to replace when it does conclude the highlight is not blinding but it's subtle enough the bronzer doesn't make me look muddy and gross um yeah I just think that you know it's a great grab and go palette it's lightweight enough so that like say god forbid something does happen to it it's not the end of the world and also I really like the primer because it does give it a little bit more of a silkier finish and it is just 
it's pretty. So overall, I was very happy with it. So thank you again, Influencer, for sending that to me for free so I could test it out and share my thoughts with you guys. And um, yeah, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you like my videos and if you like my content and if you like me, feel free to subscribe by hitting the bell down below and getting notified when I post new get readies with me vlog box vo vlog box <laughs> vox box reviews and just in new vi videos in general i promise that in 2019 i'm gonna get a little bit better about filming more and posting more stuff um i love taking the time to do this website like it's one of my things that i do for me i love doing it i love staying in tune with my creativity and i love writing and posting and editing and learning as much as i can i've invested a lot of time and money into this and it's something that i've stayed consistent with for the last two years and um yeah i want 2019 to be a little bit more of a lifestyle thing rather than just like you know beauty subscriptions or videos or things like that like I want it to be an all-inclusive like I want it to be like we're internet friends you feel me on that be sure to do a full box box review of all the things inside with a little bit more clarity um, yeah this was a first impressions video where you guys could see the products being worked instead of me just sitting there saying this was great um if you want to see this is great uh go over to the website it'll be linked over there at sarahlock.com do it just two k's i'll be sure to link all my social media profiles down below too so you can follow me wherever i might be um i promise that <laughs> once december and the holidays are done and 2019 is here we're gonna be more on top of our stuff like i just bought an erin condren agenda because I'm taking the big plunge of being a big girl and getting my shiz back together. And with that, 2019 is going to be a year of more accountability, more creative intuition, and just more or less making it about a lifestyle. Because, you know, I, I look at my YouTube channel, and yes, I do love doing my beauty subscriptions. I do love doing makeup things. I do love what I do on this channel but I also want to do other things like you know post more things on the vlog like maybe doing like hot takes or doing things I don't know there's a lot of things that I want to do <laughs> and things that I feel like that I should be doing as a lifestyle blog but um I just don't know how to do it that said I'm gonna go ahead and go so thank you guys so much for watching take care love you always until next time we'll see you guys later <laughs> bye